Barbara Kujikova versus Iga Swiatek is the final for the Dubai Championships for the ladies for 2023. And both ladies have had interesting roads to get to the final stage. Kujikova entered the tournament unseeded and will take on Bagu in the first round. But this was no problem as she got through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on the number seven seed, Kazakina a player she had lost to earlier in the season. This one went down to the wire, with Kudrykovas getting through 6-4, 4-6, 7-5. In the third round, she'd take on countrywoman Kvitova, the number 12 seed, who had been very solid thus far. But Kudrykova was too strong, getting through in straight sets 6-3, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on the undefeated Sabalenka, the number two seed and the Australian Open champion. And after losing the first set 6-love, it looked like Kudrykova was out of the tournament. But with a good comeback in the second, Kujikova absolutely beat down Sabalenka in the end, handing her her first loss of the year, winning Love 6, 7 6, 6 1 to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Kujikova would take on the number three seed Pagula, who had had a walkover in her quarter final round. And after dropping the second set, she would take out Pagula in three, 6 1, 5 7, 6 Love to make it to another final in Dubai. Fiontek entered the tournament as the number one seed and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Fernandez, who had had a very good first round, but unfortunately it was too much and Fiontek would get through in straights, 6-1, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on the 14th seed, Samsonova, who had battled past Medosa in the first round and gotten a walkover in the second. But the walkover in the second didn't give Samsonova any hope as Fiontek smoked her 6-1-6 love to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fiontek was supposed to play Pliskova, who was coming off a good win against Zachary along the way. But unfortunately, Pliskova got ill as Fiontek continued her run, making it to the semifinals with a walkover. In the semifinals, Fiontek would take on the number five seed, Goff, who she had beaten five times previously. And this day was no different, winning in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, to make it to the final of Dubai. These two have played three times before with Sviantek leading the head-to-head 2-1, but Kudrykova won their last match in Ostrava, which was one of the best matches on the WTA in 2022. If is going to win this one, she needs to play like she did in Ostrava last year. She needs to be aggressive, and she needs to take Sviantek on because we've seen players kind of try and rally with Sviantek, or even if they have taken her on, they've made some errors. So Kudrykova's got to be clean and be aggressive. If Sviantek's going to win this one, she needs to just do what she's doing, just like she did against Goff. But she was a little bit shaky against Goff on her serve, so she does need to serve a little better, but she does also need to make sure Kudrykova's playing a lot of shots and rallying a lot as well. This is going to be a fun final. It's the rematch of the only final Sviantek lost in 2022 against the same lady who beat her in that final. But I'm going to go with Sviantek in this one in straight sets, a close straight sets. I think Sviantek's going to get this one in straights, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win the final.